Okay guys, to continue on, since our screen is coming out from this bead here, we're gonna position it here so that we can make another slanted cube. So insert your string so that it will go here. Take the other one and go the opposite direction from the first one. And to make a slanted cube, we must first make uh, three clusters of four. So, put one on the right and one on the left to form the first cluster of four. Make another one by putting one on the right and one on the left. And then salikop. Make a third one. So put one on the right and one on the left. And then salikop. So now we're ready to connect it. But before we do that, we must first put one bead on the right and one on the left. And then we're going to insert it to that bead there where we put, where we made the clusters. So we're just going to take up here. We're going to align both of the ends and pull it. Make sure that the beads are not jumbled. So now we have this. So now we're ready to work on the next column or the right column of the letter M. Okay guys, now to work on the right column, we must first put our string so it will be coming out from this bead here. So take your first string and insert it to a series of beads so that it will go to that place where we are going to make a slanted cube again. Take your other string and go the opposite way from this the first string. And here is where we're gonna make a slanted cube. To form the first cube of the first column or the right column. So we must first put three clusters of four on our string. One on the right and one on the left. And then Saliko for the first cluster of four. Put one on the right and one on the left. For the second cluster of four. Then Saliko. Make the third cluster of four by putting one on the left and one on the right. And then salikop. So we're now ready to connect it but before that we must first put one bead on the right and one on the left. So now that we have done that, we're gonna salik up here where our where our clusters came from so just salik up there take your other string and go the opposite way so as to salik up we're gonna align both of the ends and then we're going to pull our string so that we can form that last cluster that last slanted cube and then we're gonna work our way for the bottom part of the second column okay hey guys so now we're gonna work on four more cube downwards for the right column of letter m 
So since our string is coming out from here, we can put it here so that we can continue on. So take your first string first and go this way. Take your other string and go the opposite way. And here's where we're going to make a regular cube. So, as you can see, it's a little bit different. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to make, we're going to first make a cluster of four. So, put one on the right and one on the left. And then, salikop. So, for this one, we're just going to make one cluster of four. Since we're going to connect it to this part here of the bead of the slanted cube. So, after that one cluster of four, we're going to put one on the right and one on the left. And we're going to connect it to that bead there. Okay? So, salik up here. So, align both of the ends. And then, pull your string. So, as to make the second cube of the right column. Okay? So, now we're ready to work on three more cubes. Three more regular cubes. So, in order to do that, we're gonna first put two clusters of four on our string. So, put one on the right and one on the left and then salikop. Make another one by putting one on the right and one on the left. And then salikop. So, now that we have those two clusters of four made, we're gonna connect it. So, put one bead on the right and one on the left. And now we're going to insert it. Since our clusters are coming out from this bead here, we're going this way. So we're going to select up here to, mer to make the third cube of the right column. Align both of the ends, pull your string, and tighten as you go. So now it should be looking like this. Okay? Guys, to continue on, since our string is coming out from this bead here, we're going to put it here. So, take your first string first and insert it so that it will go that way. Take your other string and go the opposite way from the first string. So that you can make a regular cube again. So, tighten it. So, here's where we're going to make a regular cube so we're gonna put two clusters of four first on our string so put one on the right and one on the left and then select up to form the first cluster of four make another one by putting one on the right and one on the left And then select up. So we're gonna connect it. So put one bead on the right and one on the left. And since this is a regular cube, we're going to select up on the other side. String is coming out from here, so we're gonna go select up here. So that we can form the fourth cube going downwards align both of the ends and then pull your string you need to unjumble it if ever it gets jumbled so now we have this so now we just need to position our string here so that we can make another regular cube Take your first string and go that way.
This is why you need to tighten as you go because it gets loose in time. Okay, so tighten it. And then we're going to work on our last cube, which is a regular cube. So you must first put uh, two clusters of four. So put one on the right and one on the left. And then salikop. Make another one by putting one on the right and one on the left. And then salikop. Okay, so now that we have two clusters of four on our screen, we're ready to connect it. But first put one bead on the right and one on the left. And then silic up to the other part. Since our string is coming out from here, go the opposite direction. And then silic up there. Align both ends and slide. Pull your string and tighten as you go. So now we have formed the letter M. What is left for us to do is to insert our string to a series of beads so as to tighten it. And I would advise to work uh, a few insertions in this bottom part here as to make it sturdy. So run along a few uh, insertions here. And then insert your string to a series of beads but don't go through consecutive ones because it will be very visible and then after running it along a couple of beads you can cut your string and then work on the other set of string or the other string and what you can do after is you can put your keychain or keyring in using a jump ring so as to turn it into a kitchen keychain or a zipper pole for your bag as a start of your name okay so after this you just need to cut it and then your letter M is done just cut it here you can. So now we have this. Okay, so this is the end of our tutorial for today for the letter M. Our next letter will be the letter N here. And I hope that you enjoyed making them as much as I enjoyed teaching them to you. Uh, if you have comments or suggestions, please put them on the comment box. If The details will be all in the description box below. And more will be on my blog. If you like, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and please subscribe. And please watch the ads in full if you want to support me. So that's it for now. Happy bidding everyone.